Hi friend, welcome all to my educational channel Math A to Z. Friends, now we are going to discuss Picard's theorem of existence and uniqueness of first order ordinary differential equation. Before going to state the Picard's theorem, we first state the Lipschitz condition. And sometimes Lipschitz condition is known as Cauchy Lipschitz condition. Now, what is Lipschitz condition? Let dy dx equal to fxy be first order ordinary differential equation. And this is number one equation. Here, the function fxy that is the variable x and y satisfy the following three conditions. Condition 1 f of xy is continuous on a given domain D and condition 2 fxy mod fxy less equal to m in D that is fxy is bounded in D. Okay, here m is a fixed real number. And the last condition is for any two point x comma y1 and x comma y2 in D, it must have mod of f x y1 minus f x y2 less equal to L into mod of y1 minus y2. Here L is also being a fixed number and this fixed number is known as Lipschitz constant. Okay? And if all the three conditions satisfy satisfy by the function f of x y then we say that the differential equation 1 satisfy the Lipschitz condition or satisfy Cauchy Lipschitz condition. Now, what is the statement of Picard's theorem? Together with the Lipschitz condition, if x0, y0 be any point in the domain D as defined above, such that the rectangle R, the rectangle R which is xy such that mod of x minus x0 less equal to A and mod of y minus y0 less equal to B with B greater equal to A into M, M be the this constant. And the rectangle is of the form, if this is x0, y0, then this is x0, y0, then it is, it is a minus, sorry, x0 minus a, and this is x0 plus a. And in the y direction, this is, if we break this, this is y0 minus b and this is y0 plus b and this is the rectangle, right? And must be this rectangle lies wholly in D, above domain D, then there exists a continuous function 
y equal to phi of x having continuous derivative in this range x minus x0 less equal to a that is in the real line this is x0 and this is sorry this is x0 x0 minus a and this is x0 plus a in this range y equal to phi of x having continuous derivative and this this function y equal to phi of x be the solution of one and we say that this is the only solution of one or this is the unique solution of one and it must satisfy y0 equal to phi of x okay so the solution exists and this solution must be unique if the ellipsis condition sets up so this is the complete of picard's theorem of existence and uniqueness of solution if f of x y is admits continuous partial derivative then lipschitz condition can be taken as mod of del f by del y less than l okay now we deduct the lipschitz condition from this so we can say that this is also a lipschitz condition we know from the minvelu theorem of differential calculus as f of x comma y1 minus f of x comma y2 is equal to y1 minus y2 into del f by del y okay at at y equal to y bar where y1 less than y bar less than y now taking mod both side we get mod of f of x y1 minus f of x y2 is equal to mod of y1 minus y2 into mod of del f by del y at y equal to y bar and if this condition we hold then we can write less equal to l into mod of y1 minus so this is the lipschitz condition so we say that if fxy admits continuous partial derivative then the lipschitz condition as this type mod of del f by del y less than l right we consider the example as so that f of xy equal to xy square satisfy lipschitz condition on a rectangle r which is mod x less equal to 1 and mod y less equal to 1 but not satisfy in mod x less equal to 1 and mod y less than infinity here f x y equal to x y square clearly this poses continuous partial derivative so we differentiate this with respect to y del f by del y equal to 2 xy now mod of del f by del y equal to 2 into mod x into mod y and in this rectangle this is less equal to 2 into 1 into 1 this is less equal to 2 so here the lipschitz constant a equal to 2 and the condition is satisfied but if mod x less equal to 1 and mod y less than infinity then it tends to infinity as mod y less than infinity as sorry as mod y also tends to infinity when mod x not equal to 0 so in the second condition in the second region the lipschitz condition is not satisfied first example of the class is 
consider dy dx equal to y with the initial condition y of 0 equal to 1 that is x0 equal to 0 and y0 equal to 1 then the constant a in Picard's theorem must be smaller than unity that is smaller than 1 we have to prove a less than 1 right and what is a in the statement of Picard's theorem we consider a rectangle as mod of x minus x0 less equal to a and mod of y minus y0 less equal to b with b greater than am and this is the constant a right here we must have fxy this is y from this and we must have mod of fxy less equal to capital M because it, it must be bounded in the domain or in the region so mod y less equal to M now from, from here mod of y minus 1 this is 1 less equal to b and this is less than a. So we can write this. Now we take here m greater equal to 1 because for Lipschitz condition, for Lipschitz condition, mod of f x comma y1 minus f x comma y2 equal to mod of y1 minus y2 because this, this is y1 and this is y2 and it can be written as less equal to m into y1 minus y2 if only if m greater equal to 1 so we must can take m greater equal to 1 here l Lipschitz constant is taken to be m again from this condition mod of y minus y1 y minus 1 less equal to m this gives mod 1 my mod y minus mod 1 less equal to this less equal to m and from this we get the relation so mod y less equal to m will be hold will be hold for all value of mod y minus 1 less equal to a m provided it hold provided it hold for mod y equal to a m plus 1 because this is this is the greatest value of mod y this relation hold for all value of y provided this relation hold for the greatest value of mod y right so we can write a m plus 1 less equal to m that is that is a less equal to 1 sorry m minus 1 by m and this is a less equal to 1 minus 1 by m so we can write a less than 1 ok so the constant a must be less than 1 that is must be less than unity and this to our the important example of Lipschitz condition based on Lipschitz condition as well as Picard's theorem. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching.